While it was their first appearance together, Joe Biden as a Democratic candidate for president and Kamala Harris as his vice president running mate. WGN's Gaynor Hall joins us now. And Gaynor, they immediately went on the attack against their opponents this November. They sure did, Taman and Micah. And it was a socially distanced introduction to the Democratic ticket. Harris wasting no time taking aim at President Trump's handling of the pandemic, saying he just isn't up for the job. I have no doubt that I picked the right person to join me as the next Vice President of the United States of America, and that's Senator Kamala Harris. From rivals to running mates, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris appearing together today for the first time as partners on the Democratic you know, ticket in a socially know, distanced was, campaign rollout. As I said, Joe, when you called me, I am incredibly honored by this responsibility and I'm ready to get to work. Harris is the first woman of color on a major party ticket. She has always been a star. Forrest Hayes first met her during freshman orientation at Howard University. It means a great deal to me as an American to have someone of Kamala's uh, intellect and her experience and capabilities on the ticket because it's very important. And I think this might likely be the most important election of my lifetime. The candidates say they bonded over Biden's son, Bo. He died from brain cancer five years ago. Biden also noting today is the third anniversary of the violent clash in Charlottesville that he says pushed him to run. We don't have to accept the failed government of Donald Trump and Mike Pence. In just 83 days, we have a chance to choose a better future for our country. More reaction today from President Trump. She said horrible things about him, horrible things. And she mocked him, openly mocked him. That's why I thought that was a very risky pick. It's no surprise, because whining is what Donald Trump does best, better than any president in American history. Trump's campaign is painting Harris as too liberal. Some on the left, pointing to her record as a prosecutor, say she's not liberal enough. Her record is going to be contorted and manipulated uh, six ways to Sunday. And I think it's important for people uh, of independents, Republicans, progressives to look at her record in its totality. Valerie Alexander served as the head of Harris's leadership team in Illinois during her presidential run. She is a fierce advocate, a champion. Uh, if you look at the hearings that she had in judiciary, she doesn't back down from a fight, no matter who you are or what you're throwing at her. And at a virtual grassroots fundraiser tonight, Biden said the campaign has raised $26 million in the 24 hours after Harris joined the ticket. Taman and Micah. Gainer, thank you.